is a book that took a couple of years to create. And now we are getting an inside look at the creativity behind Lola and the Troll. And joining us this morning is New York Times bestselling author and Pulitzer Prize winner, Connie Schultz, with more on her children's book. Connie, first of all, good to see you. Thank you. We, also, fellow Kent State grad. That's right. We go back a long <laughs> way. We really do. That's the title I'm focused on right now. Oh, how nice is that? First of all, I, I, can I just say I'm proud of you? Thank you. Pulitzer Prize. Wayne. Oh, my gosh. I'm proud of you. Gosh. I told you that first thing when I walked in. Look at your fine self and everything you've accomplished. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> New York Times bestseller. This is your latest book. And uh, it's something that you've been working on for a couple of years. I remember yeah. you said, I'm going to do a children's book. I'm like, OK. Uh, <laughs> sure, Connie. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I mean talk, about, talk about you know the thought process and why you want to do a children's book. Well, this came about really not through my intention initially. Okay. I made a joke. You know, We all deal with trolls online a lot. And one day on Twitter, I said, I'm going to write a children's book and call it Tom the Troll Has Been Blocked. And, and about an hour later, my agent called and said, why are you writing a children's book when you're supposed to be working on your next novel? Right, right, and I said, right. I'm not working on a children's book. And she said, you are now, because Casey McIntyre reached out from okay. Razorville. Okay. Talk about the characters, <clears throat> Lola and the Troll. Talk about the characters. In the Lola book. is a little girl. Okay. Very sweet and wants to be brave, has a lot of wonderful qualities, but this troll keeps trolling her. He, okay. Every time she's walking to school, he holds up another horrible sign um, about her. Your, your voice is too loud, your feet stink, your eyes are ugly. And so every time he does this, she tries to change another part of herself. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, her mom takes her to one of her favorite places in the world, a bookstore. A bookstore. And the owner of the bookstore, Ms. Ms. Sneesby, okay. recognizes what's happening with Lola and helps her see that she is great just the way she is and helps Lola find the courage to take on the story. Talk about the thought process of, of putting something like this together for you. Where'd you get the story idea you from? You know, we both have eight grandchildren. So yes. we're, we spend a lot of time, and ours are very young yet, yeah, okay. most of them. Okay. But what I found in working on a children's book is you've got to be able to bring back what it felt like for you to be a child, mm. right? And we all have moments where we can remember feeling small okay. because of something that someone said to us. Unfortunately, for a lot of children, that can be somebody in their family, but mm -hmm. it's often children at school. Mm -hmm. It can yeah. be a teacher who says something not meaning to, although I got to tell you, teachers have been wonderful already in response really? to this. Yeah, because what do you want when you're a child? The same thing in some ways that we want to be as adults. Acceptance. We want to be accepted. Absolutely. We want to be seen for who we are and yeah. accepted for who we are. Yeah. So that's, I kind of, I, I didn't realize how much of my own childhood was going to kind of, just what it meant to be a child mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. until I got to start thinking like one again. Yeah. Now, with any children's book, there's illustrations. Talk about the illustrator on this particular book. Sandy Rodriguez yeah. is everything about this book because, look, I came up with the words. I have a thousand words. I needed somebody who could bring Lola to life. She's modeled after our, our granddaughter, Ella. Mm -hmm. The dog, Tank, is modeled after our little dog, Walter. But for the troll, I had no idea. I said, mm -hmm. Sandy, help. And she came up with this mm -hmm. illustration of the troll. Mm -hmm. she, she brought everybody to life. Yeah, so, and yeah. it was so much fun. The way a children's book works is you write it and then you wait almost a year to see what the artist comes up with. Uh, yeah, because I know it had to be different because, I mean, this is your first children's book. Yes, it is. Talk about the process. How different is it from writing a regular novel or something you, like that? You, you write it and then you wait mm -hmm. and you wait and you wait. And then Sandy sent some sketches. Would you like Lola to look like this? Mm -hmm. Would you like her to look like this? Mm -hmm. And it was so much fun. You know, you don't know. You, I looked at all these different illustrators, but you don't know when you finally pick the one that you hope will do it. Okay. You don't know how it's going to turn out. And so you're waiting. I was overjoyed at the first sketch. That's what I was going to ask you. Overjoyed. I mean, when, when you actually saw the finished product, you know, I mean, what, what, what was the feeling like? I mean, well, I cried. Did you really? <laughs> oh, seriously. Okay. I, okay. It was tears of joy. I mean, yeah. it, you, I just, I don't know. It, to see it there and to have little children. I did my first event in Bexley last okay. week at the, at the public library there with the help of Gramercy Books. And this now, when little, did, when the book is out now, right? It's out now. But okay. this little boy was holding my book and as he comes up to me, he's about six, and his mom says to him, this is the first, first author you're going to meet of a children's book. And she said, and you're holding it. And he went like this, I oh, know. <laughs> Are you serious? And he was so excited. <laughs> I was so emotional through the whole thing. It okay. was just so much fun. Now, you, you've written some great books. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, but this, this is all joy. Okay, this is all joy. I was ask you, really. You're, yeah, it's you not. You know fun to do. It was, and, and think of my audience. I mean, yeah. it, during that book talk, at one point, it was a packed house. This <sighs> little boy starts laughing. And we all stop because he won't stop laughing. And we just wait. And then I said, and this is why we do this. And the room erupted because to hear a yeah. child's laughter yeah. is yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, you got it, no doubt. Lola and the Troll, you got some book signings coming up. Talk about them. I do, let's see, where am I going to be? Well, 
You went back all over the place. Of, of Daddy Cogley. I, I saw where you're going to be. Well, a couple hundred books at <laughs> Loganberry. Kind of okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to be at Loganberry Books on Friday. Okay. I'm going to be okay. at Shaker Library on Saturday. Yes. I'm going to be in Mentor at uh, Barnes and Noble and also at the Public Library. Oh. I'm going to be in Ashtabula at the Art Center at some point. And this is just in Northeast Ohio. Uh, right. and, I, and I'm going to a bunch of schools. I'm probably most excited about that. Kids, kids, and more kids. I'm going to be talking to children. I'm so proud of you. Oh, can I get this book on so much You bet you can. <laughs> <laughs> Connie Schultz, KSU, baby. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> well, this is my favorite interview of all time. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right.